This is Jane's story. I was absolutely petrified of him every single day. Well, there were nights when I wouldn't go to sleep. He was at the side of me and I couldn't go to sleep until I knew that he was sleeping. For over 10 years, Jane was beaten, humiliated and degraded by her husband. But it wasn't just her life he was ruining. Her children were suffering too. He was shouting and swearing at me. The cups then went against the wall and the ashtray, the bits of glass, were shattering over the children. They must have been feeling so frightened. We ran into my mother's bedroom, me and my brother. We saw our blood all over the sheets and the pillow. And it was, it, you wouldn't have recognised her. In most cases, in fact, an incredible 90% of the time, children can see or hear the violence. Jane endured this punishment for year upon year until one day it spiralled completely out of control. He was just punching me, punching me and punching me from side to side of my face. The first three or four punches were painful, but then I think my face was so numb that I didn't feel any more. And he gets off me, he goes to the toilet. I heard him peeing, and he called me and he said to me, come here, babes, as if nothing had happened. I foolishly walked into his arms. And he said, you thought it was going to be nice to you then, didn't you? Didn't you? And he came up and he punched me to the side of the face. And I didn't want the children downstairs to see what state I was in. But they heard everything because the living room door was open. He said, I want to finish you and that, meaning the unborn child in my stomach, off. I was so frightened. I was praying the front door wasn't bolted at the top, because if it was bolted at the top, I would never have had a chance to get out. Jane, her children and her baby escaped. They took refuge in a home run by Women's Aid and for the first time in years, they felt safe. Comic Relief helps to fund safe houses across the country and a helpline for women like Jane to ring when they need help and support. If I did not receive the help from Women's Aid, I wouldn't be who I am now without their support and their input in mine and the boys' lives, we wouldn't be complete. When I was living with my dad, I felt fear all the time. But when I went to the refuge, it felt warm in. I felt loved, like. You've helped Jane and her children rebuild their lives. My biggest challenge in my married life was all about surviving. Uh, my biggest challenge now is to make sure that my boys grow up happy and confident. That's, that's my biggest challenge now.